If you want to know how you can make a slided automated door in Roblox Studio like this one, you're going to have to watch this video all of it to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial I will be showing you how you can make an automated door in Roblox. What I mean with that is, for example, we have a sliding door at like a restaurant or something. Uh, if you walk close to it, it will open. And if you walk through it, of course, it's going to close. And then all the way around, if you want to get outside again, you can just walk through and it will open right for you. I think this was a great idea. It was uh, suggested by one of my Discord members. Thank you for that to whoever suggested it. If you're new to my channel and you like the video, give it a like. If you don't like this video, make sure to give it a dislike and subscribe to my channel. Turn on notifications and make sure to become a member if you want by pressing the blue join button down below. So to make this, it is actually not that hard. And what I forgot to say was, let's get right into this tutorial. So by now, um, it's not really hard to make this. And uh, we just need some parts and then we need a little bit of tweening. And we actually only need 20 lines of code. It is really simple to make this, but I just want to make a, a good tutorial about it, make sure to give you a good feeling about it, and make sure you understand what you're doing. So first of all, we need some parts. We need uh, six parts for the door. It, it sounds really a lot. It sounds like it's much, but it's not really much. And sorry if my voice is a little bit dead. I am a little bit sick. So... What we need, you want to get a, you want to get a new part, and you want to uh, scale it the way you want. And I'm gonna make it like two blocks, and then like, uh, like this. So you got like, you know, like two, and then, and then one. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is a bit dead. So excuse any weird noises. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit high up, and make, I'm gonna turn the material to glass, and set it a little bit transparent so you can look right through it. So you want to copy this and then paste it or like move it like just like like that. So you got like two identical doors. So the name for this door is going to be door two because it's the outer door. So as you can see, door one, door two. And this is of course door one. Now group them by uh, selecting both things and then just uh, control G, just uh, make it a, uh, a model. I'm just gonna name it door because why not because it's a door you know a door a door in a door a door <laughs> yeah okay so now we need more doors so you want to copy uh, you want to copy and paste them again and make sure one of them so you got like door one door one door two door two get one of the door ones and name it uh, back door one so when the uh, the doors gonna close again they have to go to uh, a position back, which uh, you don't have because they are open. And by making a duplicate part just for C framing, you're gonna have that. So get one of the door twos and back door two. Now get both back doors and set the transparency to one and turn off King Collide. Turn it off because uh, we don't want players to bump into an invisible block uh, just because it's for tweeting. Okay. Now get uh, get the door one, copy or like paste it again, and then move it a little bit to the right. And it's a little bit hard to see, but just like this or something. And again, transparency one, can collide off. And you want to do that for door two, two. So for door two, move that thing out the way two. Move it like that, like this. And then can collide off. Transparency one like this now we just need some parts I mean uh, I like to customize my door so that's what I'm going to do uh, let me check uh, back door no oh I forgot one thing um, so you know you got those outer doors name them open door one and then this one so make sure the outer ones so these two the the, the blue hitbox go this one and this one Make sure that they are named Open Door 1 and Open Door 2. Now, uh, let's see, Open Door 2, a little bit over here. I'm actually going to move it a little bit closer. Okay, just like this. And then uh, let me do that on the other side too in a little second. 
Okay, so now we're going to just make it a little bit high. Okay, make sure it covers a little bit of the glass to make it clean. And then just uh, stretch it up and get the other part and just paste it at the other side like that. Okay, so now let's check our outer doors. So uh, open door one, open door two. As you can see, they are still a little bit visible, which is good. This one is really visible. Uh, so I'm going to scale this one a little bit over here like that. So this is your door. Make sure to anchor workspace. As you can see, we got two back doors, which are like the doors, uh, the, the door is going to like stream back to the, the normal doors. We got the open doors so they can open. And we got the normal doors, which are the doors which are going to tween. Now you need one more part and you need to scale it like the entire thing. So like this, for example, okay, like that. And then on the other side too, and scale it up like this. So make sure it covers the door and a little bit in front and behind of it. Make sure to name it hitbox and put it in the door. Make sure the hitbox transparency is set to one and can collide it off and make sure to anchor the thing again. Now go to server script service and insert a script. Make sure you name the script server because it's a server, you know, you get the point. Haha, <laughs> inside joke with newbie. Okay, now we need uh, some variables. So the script isn't that hard, as I said, so let's get to coding. So, local players is equals to game, game, colon, get service, players. And as you can see, get service does this, returns the service with the request, uh, requested class name, creating it if it doesn't exist. So if you're faster than the game, uh, the game, like, uh, the game doesn't have, for example, the player's service yet, uh, it will just create that immediately. We also need local tween service is because the game go and get service tween service because tween service is a service which allows us to tween parts from uh, uh, point a to point b we also need a local debounce and we're going to set that to false because we do not have any cooldown yet now we need to detect if the part has been touched so workspace dot uh, door dot hitbox dot touched colon connect function of an object we need to make sure uh something is touching it so we're going to use the para uh, per uh, parameter sorry the parameter called object so if players call on get player from character object dot parent then so if if something touches it we're going to check if it's a player immediately because maybe a chicken touches the part and the door will open that's not what we want we only want it to open when players are touching the door uh well the hitbox part so, uh, let's see, local player is equals to players, go and get player from character, yep. Now, if debounce is equals, equals to false, so if there is no cooldown, we will set it to a cooldown so we can let the door do its own business. Now, this is a little bit complicated, but also not. Tween service, colon create, workspace, dot door, dot door one. Tween info dot new one second so like this one and then comma enum that easing style dot quad enum that easing direction dot in out and then outside of the brackets so let me just zoom I'm just gonna add some extra spaces like that so now you should have this uh, close bracket comma close bracket and then in curved brackets C frame is equal to workspace dot door dot open door one dot c frame and what this does uh oh, make sure you add a colon play at the end uh, like this make sure you add a colon play so what this does we are creating a tween on door one it will take one second to go to the other point we're going to use some cool epic styles and we're going to set a position to where it has to go to so now immediately copy this line and paste it but change open door one to open door two and change door one to two, two, whoa, two door two. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we're going to wait two seconds. So one second to open, one second to let it stay open. And then we're going to tween it back. Uh, task don't wait one. And then over here, uh, you can just copy these two lines. Paste them here and change open door one to back door one. Open door two, back door two. This is how easy it is. 
And then after a second, D bounces across crystal falls. So you can like walk through the door again. So this is the code. It is pretty simple, I'd say. Uh, it's not that hard. You just need to a little bit understand it. If you don't understand it, uh, feel free to always come to my Discord. And uh, we'll be good to go. Alrighty, so now we're in the game. We're going to play test this. So let's see if uh, we can go over here. As you can see, boom. We are in the hitbox. As you can see, we can just walk through. Okay, let's do it again. And let's walk through. Boom, the door is open. And we can go through. And they close after a second. So let's do it again. Doors open. Let's wait. And doors close. So this, this is a easy way to make a sliding door on Roblox. So like an automated, maybe an automated cell door. Uh, just an automatic door in general. For example, in supermarkets, you see these a lot. In restaurants, you see these a lot. It's just a really cool mechanic. So if you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like it, and give it a thumbs down if you don't like it. So if you don't like this video, give it a dislike. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on that notification bell to never miss out on any video I upload in lifetime. Something like that. And if you want to become a member, make sure to press the blue join button down below and read out what it says. All I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say peace out. <laughs>